series on the whole turbo build for the go-kart. Um, this is mainly going to be the airbox. Is everything, it took quite a long time. I think the airbox probably took the longest, but um, just stay tuned for the other parts. If you don't want to watch this one, you can feel free to skip to the other ones. But um, And if there's anything else you want to know more in, in detail about, just let me know. And the, uh, the car is running perfect now. It's about 98% done. It's making about nine pounds of boost, and it's I don't think I'm going to turn it up. The boost controller is all the way down. I'm probably going to keep it that way. I don't plan on making any more boost. It's plenty fast as it is. So, um, yeah, guys, just stay tuned for your other videos. Thanks. Okay, so this is the air box all done. Um, the bottom piece is the stock piece from the air box. This, it was bolted on to the bottom of this. They were sitting like this, and there was a filter on top of this, and then the um, another piece that bolted on top of this to seal it all off with the ram air intake system. And um, I just used some threaded inserts to uh, bolt it down to the bottom and you'll see everything in the video. And um, I left out all the parts of me just cutting and measuring everything up. I think it starts with me welding it, but uh, you'll get the gist of it. Okay, so I usually never do it right unless I do it twice, but <laughs> and I waste a lot of time doing that, but uh, I feel like I wasted a lot of time making this. I don't think I'm going to use this anymore. Well, I, I, think, I think I came up with a better idea. I think it's a better idea, but um, <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but I drew a line right there on both sides, and uh, I want to cut that off. I might have to get another piece of diamond plate, a bigger one, and just have this uh, piece right there, and then just a piece going right there, and then like, the piece right here, just kind of rectangle or just the shape of the inside of this, I'll go a little on the inside, and get a gasket, and just bolt that, I'll take, this is threaded right here, on all these, but I'll, uh, just drill that out and then just have um, threaded rivets and the uh, diamond plate and then just bolt it like that because that I think I wasted a lot of time doing that but <laughs> uh, I think this is a better idea if, if this plastic I think this plastic will hold I mean if it happens to not hold and something happens I'll then I guess I have this just in case but um yeah, I think I can just put a gasket in it, it'll hold, just bolt it down with the six bolts. And that should be fine. <laughs> I was just having a lot of trouble with this, and uh, I mean, this would have worked, but I just, I like this better, a lot better. And I, cause I would have had to cut a big hole in the top of this, this is gonna be the top, so I could get everything in there, the stacks and the um, bolts, so I could bolt it down. So I think this is going to look better, and it should work better, hopefully. And yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just going to cut off these uh, pieces right here. Uh, I don't like doing this. Um, but let's go. One piece. That's hot. Let me get the other side. There that goes. 
Okay. Now. Okay, so. We got it all cut out and halfway welded. I'm still going to finish it up. Um, obviously, there's still some spots I got to finish. The outside and inside, those I don't, the edges are always hard to weld with the aluminum, so I guess I got to turn the amps down. I'm not sure. I haven't really practice or look that up online too much but I think it's gonna work pretty well. Um I'm gonna wear ow that's freaking hot. I'm gonna weld it right there. Not tonight but <laughs> quite done for the night and uh I'm gonna have to put some Hoping there's enough room where I can uh, get a threaded insert in there. Now I'll see some of the on this other side. I don't know what yet, but uh, it's looking like it's going to work pretty well. So, okay, that's it for tonight. Get back to this later. Okay, so I think this is going to work out. I uh, got these threaded. Um, rivets, inserts, whatever they are, with the tool right here. We got a whole kit for it. Worked pretty well. That's what I'm going to use. I still haven't done one in the middle yet because the middle one on this is a little bit higher than the sides. And uh, I mean, it's not going to hit. I mean, I'm still going to be able to weld that. It's still going to be able to go through. So I don't know. I'm going to. I had to. Uh, I just cut off because these are raised up right here a little bit past like the whole actual housing and um, I just made it flush and then when I was doing that it heated up the threaded inserts in here so I just uh, popped those out I haven't done this middle one yet or those I was just getting it uh, figured out and I think it's gonna work pretty well I got two holes drilled for these and that worked it fits and <clears throat> Since I'm re <laughs> remaking it, I'm gonna have to do something about these back here. I'm gonna, I'm not sure, <laughs> I'm probably just gonna extend the aluminum just in those three spots just a little bit. I don't know, we're gonna figure that out. <laughs> first things first is get these in there. And once that's done, um, figure out what to do there. But I'm probably just gonna put some dime, I don't know, we'll figure it out. <laughs> Still not sure how I'm going to seal it if those do not seal. And I'm not sure how I can test that. Let's get this fitted up there though. This bolt might be too long. And I don't have it on the right side. are not lined up <laughs> okay for the bottom bolt what I did was with the insert <clears throat> I just got a piece of a flat diamond plate and just uh, welded it on there drilled the hole where I needed it and it went through this side but I'm gonna I think I'm just going to just try to weld all around this and just weld to the aluminum and it's not gonna stick to the uh, steel obviously and hopefully that's just going to work and it'll just be a threaded insert inside the um, aluminum. Now if that strips out then I'm kind of screwed. I don't know. <laughs> Do I'll have to get all that out. But um, hopefully that won't strip. I'm going to go ahead and try to weld all that up and see if that uh, does it. And if not, um, I'm going to come up with a new idea. <laughs> okay, so that actually worked. On, on the, I haven't done the inside yet, but the outside that worked I just it did not stick to the aluminum I still got a spot right there on both sides I got to fix um, make sure it's all sealed but yeah that's I was not expecting it to uh, go like that but yeah I just kind of float around it and, um, and check to make sure this bolt still fits should oh yeah money 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 Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to get the inside, tell you hot, weld it up, and then get those sides.
finish welded up. Getting those uh, holes to finish welded up. I can't talk right now. Whatever. <laughs> and then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this and see what happens. Okay, so that looks like it's going to work. I just have to do those two. I'm probably not gonna do it tonight. But um, I still gotta finish up the inside a little bit. But yeah, I think that's that's what I'm gonna do. It's not gonna look too bad. It'll be the bottom. Okay, so it took about 10 minutes, but I was able to dome that up around there and the uh, bolt still fits in there. So, um, so that's what I'm gonna do with these ones. Okay, so I gotta bolt it up. <laughs> I think everything's pretty much good on the inside. Might weld this a little bit more. But yeah, I'm gonna, uh, I'm obviously gonna clean this up a little bit more, but that's not too big of a deal. It's just cosmetic. It's pretty flat around there. I think a gasket will seal it. And um, yeah, I think it's gonna work out. I'm gonna un unbolt this and uh, get it um, welded to the main box. So we're back. Got it all welded up. There's a few. I checked to see if there was leaks. I just put water in it and then just put it on each side. And there's, I think there was three. I marked them. There's one right there. There's a few pinholes. It's not leaking much. And I know I should test it under pressure, but uh, I don't really have anything to do that. So uh, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm not that worried about it, but uh, I don't think it looks too, too bad. I mean, the welds are not perfect, but I don't. I'm not an aluminum welder, but uh, I tried to polish it up a little bit right here. And it doesn't look that bad, I don't think. But, um, yeah, it seals and everything. It, it bolts up fine. So, uh, order the turbo. The turbo should be in here in a few days. I'm going to get that, the inlet welded up there. Well, I'm going to first get the exhaust situated first. That's the first thing I'm going to do. So, uh, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to use stainless. I'm not sure yet. I might just use regular mild steel for the exhaust now and then use stainless later. But, uh, yeah, we're going to get that done first and then worry about the intake. I'm not going to do intercooler yet. I'll do that later. I don't think it needs an intercooler right this second. So, just gonna do the turbo, straighten the intake, no intercooler, and see how that works. All right guys, so we got the turbo here, and a few parts, I don't have everything for it. I just have the uh, flanges for the exhaust, and a few stainless um, 90 degree elbows for the intake. I'm gonna have to get more, I know, I just didn't know exactly what I need, I just wanna get some of it set up, at least the intake for the exhaust inlet, and then work on the outlet, and then I'll work on the um, uh, intercooler charge pipes to go to the box. The air box is already done, so I think that was probably going to be the hardest part. And then the last thing I will do is the oil, and yeah, we'll go from there. Then I'm going to have to, what else? Ah, there was other things I had to do. I know I had to do some stuff. Can't think, oh, I have to do uh, the carburetors. I have to modify the carbs to handle the pressure. Oh yeah, I'm going to have to, because I want the turbo, I think there's kind of space like right here. Let me set this down. Like right here, but um, this is the outlet for the uh, coolant. And this is just a universal radiator. It's aluminum. And um, what I'm going to do is I think I'm just going to cut off. This is just a 90 degree elbow coming out of here, out of the radiator. And I think I'm just going to cut it off and then just have it come either straight up or more out this way so I can have room, like it'll move this or out of the way. So it'll either go up or this way, which will give me a lot of space right there to hopefully mount the turbo. 
I mean, it could fit right there without it being uh, moved, but um, yeah, I'm gonna move it just so it doesn't get hot or anything. And But the exhaust is coming out right there. I took the muffler off, so I think I just have to come out straight towards me and then straight up into the bottom of the turbo. And then the exhaust is coming out that side, so I'm gonna go straight out the other side and go straight up or just go straight back down the back and out the center. That's uh, that's probably a better idea. That's probably what I'm going to do. But yeah, we're going to go ahead and get this um, exhaust, hopefully fit it up a little bit, see how it works. And then, uh, yeah, we'll go from there.